Hi folks, Ryan Hill here, Dr. Ryan Hill out of Cincinnati, Ohio with the Hill Cure Better Clinic as you can see on my nice mug there. Um, what we are going to do today is show you how to connect your Phonak hearing aids to your iPhone. Uh, now these Phonaks can connect to iPhones and Androids. I do not have an Android on hand at the moment. So I'm just going to show you how to connect them to your iPhone. It works pretty uh, much the same through an Android. Um, with just you know some of the differences in the Android um, as far as where the menus are and things like that but nothing big uh, with the Phonak hearing aids they're able to pair with both and now some of the other manufacturers are too but uh, the Phonak hearing aid uses a traditional Bluetooth signal the other hearing aids use a low energy Bluetooth so it's only been specific to iPhone up until about earlier this year or maybe at the end of last year uh, but that really doesn't matter for what we're doing today. So I have my hearing aids here. You do want to make sure they're turned off before we do this. And then the first thing we're going to do, let me share my screen with you. Um, so in three, two, one, and go, we should be sharing our screen. And I'm going to find my settings. I leave mine pretty accessible. So I'm going to go up to my settings app. And then I'm going to go straight to the Bluetooth. Some of the other hearing aids use the accessibility menu. We don't have to with the phone apps because they're a traditional Bluetooth. So I'm going to click on the Bluetooth. And what I'm going to do now is close both of the battery doors fully. And actually with the phone app hearing aids, all we really have to do is pair one hearing aid with it. So we're going to wait till on the bottom it says other devices till it reads that right hearing aid because usually it's the right one unless you're an audiologist or um, hearing aid dispenser has uh, specified that only the left will be used. Uh, say you have one hearing aid only and that should be the one that's connected anyway. Uh, but now it's going to ask me to pair that right one. So I'm going to pair the right hearing aid and we're not worried about the left in this case. If you have to, it defaults to the right unless otherwise specified. So again, just that right hearing aid and you can see it somewhere in here. Here we go. It says connected and because it says disconnected, forget this device, we know it's good. So now the next thing, if you want control of a hearing aid, so what this does now is act like a, a Bluetooth headphone, essentially. You're going to get sound for phone calls, you're going to get sound for videos and for music uh, and whatever else, maybe notifications as well um, through the hearing aids. Uh, but now the next thing we want to do so that we can have our remote control to change programs and volumes and things of that nature, we're going to find the app. So you'll want it to download the My Phone Act app. And uh, this is what it looks like here, top right of my screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and it's going to kind of walk us through. So right now I'm using a non-rechargeable hearing aid. If you have a rechargeable hearing aid, you can turn them off now by either pushing the bottom button and holding it until you see the red light, or just placing it in a charger, which will automatically turn it off. So what I'm going to do is open the batteries. And there we go. Um, and now what we'll do is hit continue and it's looking for the hearing aid. So now what we're going to do is close the battery doors on both the devices. There's one, there's two, and our phone is now going to be looking for the hearing aids at the moment. So we're going to give it just uh, a few minutes here and it will all connect eventually. Uh, it does take a little bit of time. There's the left one showing. Uh, the right one shouldn't be too far behind it. And for this, we're actually going to select both what the iPhone kind of automatically does. So go ahead and hit select. And the first thing it's going to do is connect the left one and ask you to pair. You're going to go ahead and let it pair. Um, and I heard that one connect now too. And then it should show the check mark. There we go. And then the right one, we have to pair it again for this. Uh, it seems silly, but if you want audio and you want the uh, remote control ability, this is what we have to do. Now it's complete. So it's ready to use the app and it's going to take a second, but it'll actually let us uh, change the volume and things like that. There we go. And that's all there is to it. Again, I'm Dr. Ryan Hill, audiologist out of Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, with the Hill Hear Better Clinic. Thank you.